back in 2007, 2008, demand exceeded supply in terms of the ability to get a boat built. Now every boat yard in the world has capacity. That just tells us that uh, the demand isn't quite what it was, but at the same time we haven't seen any sizeable boat yards or sizeable mast makers perish in the past two years. The market sort of slowing up is something that happened pretty quickly, but it's not going to go away anytime soon. Even if the light switched on tomorrow, it's going to take two to five years for our industry to start getting that work back. What's got us through is the reputation of our quality builds, not just my yard, it's, it's a bunch of yards in, in New Zealand that build good quality stuff. We just need to continue to push that brand in terms of NZ Marine and quality. And that's the most important thing. Yes, the market globally has been tight, but again, if you go and look at some of these boat builders as signing out new contracts, they're building them based on their reputation. Some of the smaller guys have had some real challenges. Production power boat guys, a couple of them have been through some serious fires. You know, so that in itself in a bad time doesn't help you out. We're fortunate that um, the marine industries are pretty cohesive. The comment was made in these interviews last year about the fact that people are sharing information and that sort of thing. And I think that uh, the Marine Industry Association have done a very good job in pulling everybody together and charting a course for the future. The industry is um, conscious still of quality stuff. They've gone to the shows, they've spent the money offshore. You're not going to sell big super yachts to Kiwis. There's a few of them that might have them, but the market's offshore. Most of the countries are struggling to sell product at any sort of level that sales are well down. And I think we've been very fortunate in New Zealand that sort of the four main large companies have gone out and played the market pretty hard to get some forward work. Australia's always been a, a market that we've seen as being large and lucrative. We also know that we can cater for that market extremely well and that our products are of the highest standard over there. China is a very big opportunity. There's a strong economy. It's something new to, to our company, that, that market. It's something we're very focused on because we see uh, strong opportunities for us. The likes of the Indians and the Chinese aren't really into the marine industry at all but they've got a very affluent middle class and upper class. And you only just need to turn a small percentage of those people into the marine sector, have them rubbing shoulders with people in the Mediterranean or the Caribbean, and um, it'll be a significant upturn for the marine industry as a whole.